If you'll let, take your Bibles, please, and turn to Romans chapter 6. <laughs> it just dawned on me, if Romans is the bacon, then Romans 6 is like the little fatty strip right along the edge. <laughs> Romans 6, starting at verse 1, what shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin so that grace may increase? May it never be. How shall we who died to sin still live in it? Or do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus have been baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him through baptism into death so that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. This is the reading of God's word. You may be seated. Well, I have uh, loved Romans 6, like many of you. Um, Really, for for as long as I can remember, I can think back to my early Christian days and just being uh, uh, virtually mesmerized with Romans chapter 6. Although, my understanding of Romans 6, let's just say, uh, was not always very accurate. The passage, um, going back so many years, I mean, as a a teenager, the passage was significant to me in my early Christian life because I I looked at Romans 6 as if it was sort of the, the key to the higher life. Or... 